Welcome to episode 1576, David Philo, quiet co-founder of Yahoo, Nine Lessons. This is an outline of episode 1576, lesson 1 to 5. This is lesson 6 to 9. Lesson 1, Yahoo has two co-founders, the quiet one and the loud mouth. And this is David Philo. We're the co-founders of Yahoo. We're here to introduce to you the all-new Yahoo homepage. Now, you might think we're the ones behind all this. In fact, there are actually millions of very talented and insightful people who contributed to this new page. And two, the quiet co-founder is now the richer billionaire. Is Jerry Yang. It's a net worth of $2.7 billion. And David Philo has a net worth of $3.6 billion, 0.9 billion more than Jerry Yang. Lesson three, he once dreamt of becoming an air traffic controller. And I don't know, for some reason I remember at one point wanting to be an air traffic controller, which I have no, <laughs> I have no idea why, but I just remember taking some aptitude test or something and maybe that Lesson four, it started as a passion, then it developed into a hobby, and then becomes a company. It was Jerry's Guide to the World Wide Web, an informal mechanism for them and their friends to navigate the net. Philo and Yang were feeling the drive and excitement of true explorers. Creating a company was the last thing on their minds. Lesson five, the famous Yahoo TV ads. Yahoo. <laughs> Six had this tech sale. As the new millennium dawned, its share price peaked at an all-time high of $118.75. In that brief shining moment, Yahoo was worth more than Disney, Viacom, and News Corp put together. St In July 2016, Yahoo was sold to Verizon for $5 billion. It was called the Cetus $5 billion deal in tech history. Lesson 7, Best Yahoo Investment. Yahoo once owned 30% of Alibaba back in 2005 after Yahoo CEO Jerry Yang and Alibaba Jack Ma became friends. Lesson 8, Missing Opportunities Twice to Buy Google called Larry Page and Sergey Brin, who had the outrageous cheek to come to Yahoo's office in an effort to flog them a niche search engine called Google for a cool million dollars. 2002, Yahoo had a second chance to purchase Google for one billion dollars, and they missed the boat again. Nine bad CEO decisions hire many underperforming CEO. Those infamous is Scott Thompson on account that he falsified his credentials as a computer science major in college. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Leave your questions and comments below. Wishing everyone peace and prosperity.